Gertrude Das, in his book, The Difficulty of Being Good, on the Subtle Art of Dharma, delves into the complex concept of Dharma, exploring its application in our modern lives. This work is a thought-provoking exploration of ethics, morality, and human behavior, drawing from both ancient Indian philosophy and contemporary examples to shed light on the challenges individuals face when trying to be virtuous. At the core of the book is the idea that being good is difficult. Das argues that navigating the path of Dharma, which involves making ethical choices and doing what is right, is a challenging endeavor. He draws heavily from the Indian epic, the Mahabharata, particularly the character of Yudhishthira, to illustrate the dilemmas and moral quandaries faced by individuals striving to uphold their dharma. One of the central themes of the book is the conflict between duty, dharma, and desire, kama. Das emphasizes that in our pursuit of desires and personal ambitions, we often compromise our ethical principles. He underscores the need for individuals to strike a balance between fulfilling their desires and adhering to their duties. This balance, he argues, is crucial in leading a virtuous life. Throughout the book, Das explores various aspects of Dharma, such as truth-telling, honesty, and justice. He provides numerous examples from Indian mythology and contemporary society to illustrate the challenges people encounter when trying to embody these virtues. He also discusses the concept of yajna, or selfless sacrifice, as a means of fulfilling one's dharma and contributing to the greater good. Dasa's exploration of dharma extends to the political realm. He discusses the importance of ethical leadership and the responsibility of those in power to govern with integrity and justice. Drawing from examples in Indian history and politics, he highlights the consequences of leaders who prioritize personal gain over the welfare of society. The author also delves into the concept of forgiveness and its role in Dharma. He emphasizes that forgiveness is not a sign of weakness but a powerful expression of moral strength. Drawing from the Mahabharata's story of Drupadi and her forgiveness of her tormentors, Das illustrates how forgiveness can transcend personal vendettas and lead to reconciliation. In addition to the philosophical and ethical aspects of Dharma, Das also explores the psychological and emotional dimensions of human behavior. He examines the role of envy and jealousy in driving individuals to commit unethical acts, often at the expense of others. Das argues that understanding and managing these negative emotions is crucial for upholding one's dharma. Throughout the book, Das engages with various schools of thought, including the teachings of ancient Indian philosophers like Chanakya and contemporary thinkers like Mahatma Gandhi. He offers a nuanced perspective on Dharma that is both deeply rooted in tradition and relevant to the modern world. One of the strengths of Dasa's book is his ability to blend storytelling with philosophical analysis. He weaves together narratives from the Mahabharata and real-life anecdotes to illustrate the complexities of Dharma. These stories serve as powerful examples that resonate with readers, making the philosophical concepts more accessible and relatable. However, the difficulty of being good is not without its challenges. Some readers may find the book's dense philosophical discussions and references to Indian mythology and history to be somewhat overwhelming. The book assumes a certain level of familiarity with these subjects, which could be a barrier for those less acquainted with Indian culture and philosophy. In conclusion, Gurcharan Dasa's The Difficulty of Being Good, On the Subtle Art of Dharma, is a thought-provoking exploration of ethics, morality, and human behavior. Through a blend of ancient wisdom and contemporary examples, Das highlights the challenges individuals face when striving to live virtuous lives and make ethical choices. His analysis of dharma, duty, desire, forgiveness, 
and leadership provides valuable insights for readers seeking a deeper understanding of the complexities of human morality. While the book may be demanding for those unfamiliar with Indian philosophy and culture, its rich storytelling and philosophical depth make it a rewarding read for those interested in the age-old pursuit of goodness and righteousness.